All right. How, how is everyone? Good. I just Good. asked them that already while oh, you're talking in your phone. Way to go. Sorry. You didn't bring M&Ms for everybody, I'll did you? I'm for you. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm craving chocolate. I'm a chocolate. All right, let's, uh, let's answer this question. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. We're going to get right at the There we go. Um, what was your favorite scene in, in the first Halloween? That's the, a really solid question. The first. How old are you? <laughs> Dude, awesome. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, like, mostly I stutter when I ask the question. That was, like, straight to it. Well, he knows what he wants to. My, I, I'll tell you, uh, any scene working with this lovely lady oh my God. was my favorite scene, except for the one where she stabs me. <laughs> <laughs> Do not tell the story. Do not. No, Tyler. No, Tyler. No. 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 Because he knows how it gets me because it's not fucking true. I'm so sorry. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. It is so true. But you almost so killed me. You, okay. you almost killed me the first day of filming. You know, I say. First day of filming, we almost killed each other. On accident. 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 She stabbed me with a knife, damn it. <laughs> Okay, it we're doing the scene. Okay, I gotta, I gotta tell now. Okay. We're doing the scene in the basement, right? It was our first scene together, wasn't it? Yes, it was our first scene. First scene I was together. Really nervous. First scene together. It's the scene in the basement where I have the mask off and I'm, you know. And and I'm holding a naked woman's body. Okay, my first day on set. I'm 17 years old and I have like these big jugs in my hand. <laughs> okay, and I'm crying and like. Okay. And you guys have seen the knife is kind of big, yeah. and it was you know lying beside us. And Rob <laughs> lets scenes carry on, and um, instead of and the props guy instead of switching to the fake retractable knife so you can stab someone and it's all cool and kosher and no problem, <laughs> Rob lets it go and she picks up this butcher knife and stabs me. I'm like. <laughs> Shit, this is really a good start to this two-month <laughs> shoot. I just got stabbed. Luckily, she's weak and couldn't. No. <laughs> oh my God, no. Well, I couldn't, first of all, I if, you're gonna, if you're gonna act this out, skin, if you're so. gonna act this out, it was this shoulder. Remember well, I know, but I'm, I'm right-handed. But okay, no, he had a cardboard piece on his shoulder. See how so. low his shoulder sits now. <laughs> But, disgusting. Okay, but later that day, we were filming the scene where I go up the attic stairs and out into the pool area in the first one. And when you go up there, it was a built-in thing. So when you go up there, you lift up the doors and you're sitting on this like six foot drop. Like there's nowhere to go. And they're filming down below. So I get up there, I'm screaming, crying. I go up there and I'm sitting on this thing and Tyler's smashing shit down below. And then all of a sudden I hear the DP go, just go up, go up the stairs. And so here I hear dum, 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 dum. him coming up the stairs. I have nowhere to go. He opens the door. I go flinging across this six foot drop. And thankfully you grabbed me and saved me. But I like, that was the last shot of the day and I almost died. <laughs> you almost died the first shot of the day. I almost yeah. died the last shot of the day. <laughs> it's been, it, yeah. And then we're both looking at each other going, we got two more months <laughs> yeah, of this yeah. shit. <laughs> I thought you, I, I was really scared the next day. I thought you were going to hate me. Well, you stabbed me. I, you, you almost <laughs> killed me. Yeah. Hey, Tyler, yeah. Uh, when was the first time you put on the mask? How did it feel? I tell you, they. I went and did a head cast with Wayne Toth. I love Wayne. And uh, he sculpted the uh, mask to my face. And I went to his studio and saw it and tried it on there. And it was it was surreal. But I didn't have the whole costume yeah. at that time. Mm -hmm. And it was probably the first time just before I got stabbed that I was <laughs> that I had the coveralls put on the mask and had the knife and it was it was <clears throat> surreal I was like, like a different yeah it was it, it was really intense and then I got stabbed <laughs> get out of here <laughs> I did yeah. not yes you have the what best question what was your favorite kill 
I know favorite, what my favorite kill was. In the um, movie. my favorite kill of all of them is when I kill the nurse. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, Octavia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I killed her good. Your sister needed something for her head. Exactly. Yeah. And I think I think I am the only serial killer in the movies that has killed a uh, Oscar winner. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 Woo! Octavia. Her, Octavia, She's the nurse. A she huge... won. She won for uh, yeah for uh, um, what what the. Help. The yes, help. help. She's the help. a phenomenal actress. Now she's like amazing. Big. She's really huge. Yes. Um, I liked my favorite killing, and will always stick with me. Maybe because it was the first one, was Dag killing Daryl with the stick. Like that was just f so intense, and the way that it was shot, it was just like it was really brutal. And I remember being at the premiere and like turning around and looking at my grandma and just being like, I am so sorry I brought you <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, this who is the brings first... your grandma to a premiere of Halloween? She is really happy for me to go to a premiere, okay? <laughs> my whole family was there. I was like, oh my god. Does he, yeah. does he talk to you now? Yeah, barely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, the first Halloween, you get sprayed with blood. How did they do that? Um, they do it with like a, uh, a little... Uh, you mean when I'm on top of him and I'm shooting yeah. him? Uh, yeah, Wayne was... The, it was Wayne, right? Or Doug. I think it was either uh, Doug the makeup artist or Wayne with a, a, a hose and it was just like the timing was just like, but it's really crazy. I actually asked Rob when I watched that because my body's really weird. It's like jolty and jerky and like strange. And my scream is really weird. And I asked Rob, I was like, oh my God. I was like, what effect did you use on that? He's like, dude, we didn't use anything. That's you. <laughs> God, I'm like, you I'm are pretty really creepy. creepy. You I'm are really creepy. You still are. You're I, pretty yeah, creepy I'm right really, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really creepy person when you put me on screen. It's really crazy. I've played really yep. weird people, but I'm really sweet. <laughs> Why? Yeah, she's sweet. I am. Uh, next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can you tell that we're like uh, father and daughter? Can you guys tell? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I was wondering, what is your know, method, I guess, for how you get yourself worked up? You're just bawling and hysterical. You know. Oh, that question isn't for me. <laughs> how did you work it up, Tyler, underneath that mask? How did you work up the aggression? It's easy to have aggression. 
<laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah, look at he knows. He's like, I'm great at being aggressive. Um, you know, I get that question a lot, and it's the one that. thing that I don't have a problem with getting in and out of. I'm Ooh. I'm a really okay that one time because I was really hard. God damn it. <laughs> um, but usually I don't. Um, I'm not a method actor by any means. And I think that helps me be sane in my craft and with what I do. Stop it. Stop looking at me. I can see you <laughs> looking at me right now. But it, does, it doesn't, I don't have to think about anything or anything. I usually just feel, I just, I just imagine what somebody would feel like with whatever I'm doing. And it just instantly, I have a lot of love and like I, I care deeply. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? This is why I'm doing these things to you. Because you make faces and you make me seem like I'm a horrible person. And I'm not. You love doing these with me. I know, because they're we such fun. a fun time. <laughs> um, so I just I just feel a lot. And it's it's just been something that I've been really good at. Um, but yeah, I don't have to like think of a sad story or something like that. My friends, my friends do that, but I don't, I don't do that. Um, I just imagine what it would be like and I just instantly am like, okay, now I'm there. And I'm like, I'm the worst. I'm like shaky and like boogers are coming out. I'm like, I'm the worst crier. <laughs> that is Get true. me going and I'm just like, what he was talking about was that there was this scene with Daniel Harris in the second one where, I mean, just thinking about it right now, I'm getting teary eyed. Going in and seeing her, and me and Danielle got really close. She was like my, my second sister during the first one. And seeing her naked and just scratched up and dying and her dying in my arms, because we were so close. I, this is the first time this has ever happened to me in my whole career. I choked up and I did the scene and I couldn't get out of it. And I had to excuse me, I ran out of that house. And the first person I saw was Tyler. And I looked at him and I was just like bawling. And I was just like, I can't do this. I don't understand. And he looked down at me and he was like, I need a van out of here. I need to get out of here. And, like, <laughs> and thankfully, like he knows how to like get me out. And I started laughing and I was just like, oh my God, thank you. It was, I, I got you out. You of did it. get me out of it. It's just really, it's really hard when you connect connect with someone and you you do some an emotion. I love you. Why aren't you here? I'm yeah. Here. Why aren't you here? <laughs> You're standing in the back. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, we, come on, man. We need we need you up here. <laughs> I think he was my best, like my favorite part in the first one. I was like, holy fuck. Like, this guy's so crazy, I love it. But um, yeah, so it's really hard when you're doing something like that, um, especially with somebody that you care about. I just did it with Lou Temple um, and our last movie that we just did together and I was just like, Lou, I'm having a really hard time doing this with you. But yeah, so I guess, yeah. yeah. Um, Halloween 2 mm -hmm. had uh, two endings. Yes. Um, which was your favorite ending? And um, are you still alive in the movie? Uh, yeah, I thought I was. <laughs> um, um, you know, I, I like the one um, where she kind of... I just could only imagine if something like that was to happen to me. And I, in any sort of thing like that, that happens emotionally, I take it hard and like, I mean, imagine if that happened to you yeah. and having to go through that, you know, emotional experience. I loved when she came out in the mask and yeah, she just was like, and then just took it off and like still like, I mean, I'm sure she had no recollection of like even what the fuck had happened, you know? And then being in that state was just like, I remember seeing that and feeling that when I was filming it and I was just like, it was crazy. So, so you, you lived in the, in the yeah, 
in the so. asylum. I think that was really cool. And again, the smile at the end, I asked Rob, I was like, how did you do that? And he was, was like, great. dude, it's you. I was like, whoa, it's really weird. <laughs> really weird. I'm really creepy girl. Really yeah, it was really weird. It's kind of a creepy family. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we got a really fucked up family right here. Um, but yeah. One of the things that's so great about both of them is it has such like an ensemble cast from the cameos and even the supporting roles and obviously the leads and stuff. Was there anybody when you got on it that you were really psyched to say, like, oh my god, D. Wallace, oh my god, Brad Dorff, holy shit, William Forsythe. Yeah. Like, was there, you know, was there anybody you were personally just like <laughs> geeking out to see, like among the cameos or? Uh. William, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love his death. His death's so fucking cool. Yeah, that, so that cool. is amazing. We did you that. You die we, well, uh, sir. Yeah. <laughs>
Ken was yelling in there in the dark, guys, hey, 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 guys, guys, I'm here. I can't believe you did that. I cannot <laughs> believe you did that. Wayne was like, I gotta go get him. I go, give him a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It was, it was fun. Your little baby. <laughs> yes. I love your mustache. Mini you. <laughs> yeah, mini you. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, geez! I know what it was for me. It was no the 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 uh, the rain scenes, and the, when I'm hacking up the uh, the well, rain. Sh oh my God! Yeah, that's a great scene. yeah I'm hacking up this the shed. What you got? I'm just remembering. I knew you were going to add guess, to this, so just, that's why I brought I'm this up. I'm just remembering Tyler. Tyler's bitching about how cold it is. It we was have like, cold. So yeah, wearing your jumper, <laughs> wearing his jumper and like a, a, a warm suit underneath the jumper and me, I'm in a nightgown and panties. That's it. That's all I'm wearing. And the casts everywhere. And he's like in the warm van, just like going in the van and he's like shivering and I'm out there in like a nightgown going, what the? Are you seriously? <laughs> I'm like hopping. Well, what they had is we had they had a rain, rain machine. They had a rain machine. We had the, the fire department was out there with their rain, with their trucks, and they had a rain truck. So, and it was like 40 degrees, and they're pouring this all over us, and, it was and cold. you know, it was it was really it cold. Was, I, and then yeah, I cold. had, I had that um, axe scene, like where I'm supposed to chop up the guard shed. And you know, Rob's going, okay, take the axe to it. They first of all they give me a dull axe and they Crazy. built the shed solid. It was supposed to be breakaway with balsa wood, so it'd break and and so I'm sitting here trying to hold this axe, slippery axe. I think the axe went flying out of my yeah, hand a couple axe, of times. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And I'm hitting this building, I'm like, why is nothing happening? You know? <laughs> I'm a six eight guy, you know, I figured <laughs> and then they go how did you build this thing? Oh, well, we built it like a solid shed so nothing could break it. And Rob's like. <laughs> <laughs> and and they're, like, they're like, guys, don't you realize he's supposed to break shit? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So we had to reshoot that whole scene. And two, there. you have to understand, like that whole hospital thing with the shack and everything. I, it's one of my favorite, uh, favorite things in the in the both of them. But we were doing night shoots at the time, so we would get to set at like noon and not wrap until the next morning at seven a.m. And I remember they did all of his like you know did all this crashing and all that stuff, and then they finally got my close up underneath like crying and like oh, as he's breaking yeah. and they literally just it was like the last like 30 minutes and they just were throwing things at me and just like shaking the camera and throwing things and like making me like cry and scream chunks and, of wood and stuff yeah, yeah. Ch just throwing shit at me but i remember like at 7 a.m in the morning after freezing and the rain machines were just getting to me i remember going over to robin and i was like shivering and my lips were blue and i was like i can't do this anymore i was like i'm stuck we finally wrapped at like 7 a.m. Yeah, and 7 I think you had, you had blood all over you and yeah. stuff, and then we went to Waffle House. After. We went to Waffle House! <laughs> that's right, we did go to Waffle House. Oh my god, I don't like going right. to Waffle House when you have blood all over it you. Was so, nobody, nobody cared. It was so cool. I felt great. <laughs> I would, I, I feel bad for like the hotel, like honestly. I wouldn't, sometimes I'd just go to bed and like shower in the morning. I was like so tired. And then I'd wake up with like red blood stains all over my pillows and I'm just like wow sorry everyone no no yeah. no they kept they kept it pretty much under wraps you know yeah. like for the, especially for like for the first one they 
Wayne kept it hidden until we shot and stuff because people were trying to come and get pictures of it and stuff like that. But it was uh, it was pretty cool though being in that outfit. I gotta say, yeah, pretty badass. Yeah. Um, who was your favorite character in the first Halloween? Who's my favorite character? <laughs> 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 These two guys. <laughs> Stroker. <laughs> I, my favorite was Dag. Yeah, man, too. Uh, Dag was really cool, man. He was scary. He was, he was cool. He was a creepy kid. He was a creepy kid. He's still a creepy He's kid. He's still a creepy yeah. kid. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was cool. Wasn't he supposed to be here? Yeah. I think he's filming something. Is yeah. I think he snagged the project. Yeah. But yeah, Dago's my favorite. Who was your favorite? Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding. Um, I like Sherry too. Sherry is really cool. Yeah. She's awesome. It was fun torturing you guys. Yeah. I remember after every take, you know, Rob would be like, more, more, make them really uncomfortable. More, oh more. My God. And I'm like, look, dude, I've reached in, I've covered every aspect of white trash them, no yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, more, more, you know. And then it was that funny scene where I go, bitch, I will crawl over there and skull put the shit out of you. And Sherry, after the take, she says to me, what does that mean? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Scoop the chicken, purge my snorkel all over them flappy ass tits. Good, we'll have a good fucking time. I will. I hope she likes cripples. Bitch, I will crawl over there and I will skull fuck the shit out of you. Oh, I'll get the crutches for you. So good funny. times. <laughs> so those are a lot you. of ad, li ad libs? Oh, I made it. Uh, yeah, most of that. I. Yeah. That's crazy. Every take was something else. That was else. such a crazy. It was so insane. You made the poor lady leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Honestly, everybody says, "Oh my God, your death! It must have been so hard." I I slept all day. <laughs> I was in that chair like sleeping, and they would tap me out when we worked. And the the only thing is, they didn't use Dig to do the cutting. They had a um mm -hmm. a, a stunt woman doing the cutting because it, the way the rig works, it's with a real knife. So if you miss, you get your throat cut. So wow. they uh, they used a professional for the occasion. That was about it. But I still slipped through it all. Was it? Wake up, oh yeah, oh I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, you said that you were uh, a cast on here, like uh, during the yeah, I called up Rob. Rob told me, he, he, he goes, listen, I, your character, I want him to have a broken arm. And so I go, great, okay, no problem. So about five days later, I was hiking up on a farm in upstate New York, and I took this bizarre fall, and I severed my tendon in my leg, and I required surgery, and I couldn't walk. And so I called up Rob and I go, Rob, uh, we got a little problem. I go, now you're, you're going to have to add a leg cast too. Oh, no. So that's how we ended up with the roach, you know, him like, bitch, I'll come over there, you know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so the minute uh, I wrapped the movie, I went and had my surgery. Oh, you know? man. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, that was, I remember you limping around there. Oh, yeah, that absolutely. Was insane. Yeah. I learned to use my right leg would carry my other leg. Oh, yeah. And I couldn't walk on it at all, you yeah. know. Scout. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of Halloween 2, all the like blood and stuff. Mm -hmm. What oh. kind of makeup did you, did you have to use makeup like? Yeah, there's all that was all special effects. Um, Wayne is brilliant, so is Douglas. Um, yeah, I went through like a two-hour process of getting all that stuff on, a fake hand prosthetics and like nails and stuff, and I was on that gurney, strapped to that gurney for a good half of the day. Really? Just repeating that scene over and over, but it's pretty gnarly. Yeah, Wayne's really talented. He's a really talented dude, but it was all prosthetics on my face and stuff. Yeah. Working with Malcolm McDowell. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm is one of the craziest personalities that you'll ever meet, but in a good way. He's He's quite a character, like all the characters that he's played. He's very flirtatious, which I love. And um, yeah, he's a really good person to be around. But he's just an animated man. Which is yeah, he's, he is, he's crazy.
<laughs> the scene where uh, I'm in the asylum with the mask on and I'm handcuffed. He goes, um, I bet I can make you laugh during this scene. I go, there's no way I'm not going <laughs> to. And I got a mask on so it won't even matter. And he goes, oh, I'll break you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that they were running out of they, they shot down on Super 16 right so they were running out of film and he's just messing around he going you know he's gonna go Michael I'm gonna slap you with the biggest dildo I can find <laughs> you know, I'm, gonna rubber suit and all that. I'm like what the, what the <laughs> and I just remember <laughs> Rob's like, cut, cut, cut! What are you... And then he just goes, we had a little bet. <laughs> he put it all... I remember... See, fun to work with. The first one... Very proper English. Yes. 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 The, fir the first one, I mean, I was 17, and I remember, like, I heard this beautiful accent in the trailer, and I turn around, and I see Malcolm, and I remember the whole shoot, I had the hugest crush on him. Like the entire, I was like, mm, like, like a little giddy girl. <laughs> like, oh my God. And then I watched Clockwork Orange, and then I was like, okay, maybe not. But yeah, no, he's great. He's really good. His complete profile. Two roadblocks and an old points bullet and wouldn't stop a five-year-old. Well, what do you want us to do? Yes, I mean, what do you want us to do? And I want you to tell them who broke out of here last night. And I want you to tell them exactly where he's going. Christ, we don't know where he's going. It must be great living in denial. I must try it sometime. Look, you and that army of shirt tuckers up there, you know damn well where he's going. And where's that? Haddonfield! Good people. <laughs> You had a question. Great actor. How did you feel to uh, get to kill Danny Trade off? That was amazing. <laughs> first, first time we uh, let him live. Yeah. And then people were too sympathetic towards Michael Myers, so we had to go in and reshoot that. And I love that you let him live. I mean, he was just such a great character. He's such a good actor. Yeah. And finally, Danny like was like sympathetic, and it was really cool. Yeah, they should have let him live. Yeah, yeah but. Like, Nobody but, makes it out alive. Yeah, Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. I did. Well, so far. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. But yeah, I mean, it was just fantastic working with him, you know, smashing the TV on his head and then drowning him and all that. I mean, that was. That was That's crazy. That was, that was cool. It looked like a fun scene to shoot. It yeah. was. It was. That looks like an intense scene. That was really intense. Yeah. Well, the, and the funny thing about that scene, too, is. When I pick up the TV, right, and it was a real TV that they didn't gut or anything. It was like... So they didn't read the script on that one? They, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, so I'm here, you know, and they go, the guy goes, be careful with that. That's our only TV. I'm like, okay. So I'm, I'm picking up and hoisting this TV above my head. And I hit one of those water sprinklers. <laughs> started to lose the TV. And I'm trying to catch this TV and Rob's like going, ah, oh, and it hits the ground. And luckily it didn't break. Rob goes, what are you trying to do, dumbass? I go, I go, well, this is the only TV and it's a real fucking TV, Rob. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> he goes to pick up the TV and he goes, holy shit. Doesn't anyone read my script? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, we got to do that again. He goes, can you guys take some of the insides of this damn thing out and make it a little lighter for this man? <laughs> <laughs> so it, was, it was a funny moment, yeah. <laughs> so funny. And Danny's like, don't drop that shit on my head, man. <laughs> So it was good.
question about Lou Temple. Oh, I love Please. Lou. Lou, yes. Oh, I love Lou. Yeah, that was the, uh, that was the, uh, Chargers got smashed on the wall. Oh, yeah, that was the, uh, uh, yeah, with the, when they're raping the chick or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was an intense scene. That was an intense scene. I think Lou's the one that went running up with his pants down, right? Yeah, did. I catch did. him in the hallway? Yeah. Dude, Rob, Rob has put Lou through a lot of Lou's things. suffered so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been through. <laughs> yeah, even in like his new 31, Lou was tell. I just did a movie with Lou um, called Feral, and uh, he was telling me some stories about 31, what Rob makes him do in the movie. Oh, and I'm no. like, oh my God. <laughs> you looks, do so much awesome. crazy things. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he's great. Yeah. He's phenomenal. Hey, Maji. We brought you a little company. Yeah, huh? we got you some new fresh meat, baby. Fucking bitch. You want some of that? Yeah. Come on, dude. Huh? Show us your man, huh? Ah! Oh, fuck it, you see? Yeah. You want some fucking pussy, huh? He, he does some really messed up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Rob or Lou? No, Lou. Uh, I mean, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> both. Both of them. I, I think, I think your little mini me has a question over there. Yes. <laughs> How many days in part two did you guys spend shooting just Michael Walker and Robert Sonny's men? Oh um, my yeah. God. Uh. Weeks. <laughs> there were weeks of me walking around like a hobo. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy, right? Uh -huh. I mean, the. But it was really cool. They brought on a helicopter for the cornfield one, and and you know they swooped down and shot me walking. And there was this guy hiding in the bushes with a walkie-talkie, and they said, "Okay, the helicopter's coming back. Start walking." I just kept walking back and forth across this field. It was amazing. And then the one time out front of the house, there were a bunch of dairy cattle, and I'm walking along the fence, and the cattle started following me. <laughs> and Rob just let me keep walking with these. I, I was like the Pied Piper of the... I'm like... Yeah. Was, <laughs> it was crazy. So there was a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Yeah, where are you going? Oh, no. um, in the second Halloween, my favorite scene was in, uh, when you're in the field those guys come in the truck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was... Where did you, where did you film it at, and how long did it take to do all that? Uh, <laughs> we were just in a field in, in Georgia there somewhere, and, and that we shot uh, over the course of one night. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was... That was pretty intense when I plant them on the antlers, and... Did I, like, I like how I slowed it down. Oh yeah, that's what I was yeah. gonna ask. They speed up your your knife hit for. No, I'm quick. Yeah, no. yeah. What was with the killings in two, man? Yeah, I mean, the guy'd be dead for an hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to make sure they were really dead. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people are coming back to life. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. One of my favorite scenes with you in the second one is uh, your big breakdown with Margot Kidder. Oh yeah. yeah I, that was amazing. Uh, what, yeah, what, what place did you go to in that? <laughs> my my place. <laughs> um, me and Margot, um, I, by the way, I was a huge fan of hers. Yeah. And then when I found out that she was my therapist, I was like a crazy thing. But um, um, I don't know. Rob just wanted it really messed up. And and um, I just got my energy up. And Margot is really easy to, to act off of. So yeah. we just cut. Sometimes when Rob wouldn't cut, and he'd just be like, all right, just go back. Just go straight into it. So that was fun. But yeah. <laughs> Breathing exercises? Yes, Breathing exercises yes, aren't going to cut it. Yes, like, I can't yes, deal please. with this. Oh, I'm not honey, strong enough, and I'm tired of pretending that I am. Look, Lori, <laughs> listen to me. Stay with me. You 
are so much stronger than you think you are. You are. Now, come on, sit down. Sit down. Better fucking let me go I, and give me some fucking prescription. I'm going to give you some Haldol to tide you over. Haldol? And the, yes, Haldol. It'll take some of these thoughts away. I and don't we'll want Haldol. I want my prescription. Oh, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Fuck you. Know what? Fuck you and fuck this. I'm tired of your, how are you, Lori? I'm so concerned at a hundred bucks an hour. You know what? I would be fucking concerned at a hundred bucks an hour. I'm really concerned right oh, now. Shit. No, it's oh, not shit. bullshit. You know what? Please You're more fucked me. up than I am, you crazy bitch. It was good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. You texting your wife right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Questions? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Yes? Didn't you guys lose a bunch of footage at a airport so you guys had to spend a few more days reshooting? Did that happen? <laughs> Did I that don't know. Happen? Didn't you guys watch the director's commentary about that you guys talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure they didn't lose it. <laughs> Tyler! I am not taking the blame for that. Why did you lose it? I am not Is taking the blame for that. Is that why we did that. reshoots? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I was just excited to go reshoot again for two weeks. I was like, yeah, let's do this. I was excited to see everyone. I remember I started smoking, which I do not smoke anymore, but I started smoking when we, when we did the reshoot. And stabbing you several times, I was running out of breath. That was bad. Bad time. Awful. I'll teach you. See <laughs> <laughs> with Malcolm McDowell in the cop car. Now that was, um, he didn't expect your arm to come through the window at that time. Is that why he scared the piss out of him and it came across really good on film? Or oh, when I smashed oh, yeah. the window? Was it planned? Was it planned? Did he know that it was coming and he, he just didn't know when? He just or? seemed very um, surprised. Yeah, I, I, I scared the hell out of Malcolm a few times during that movie. <laughs> it was a breakaway. Yeah, it was breakaway glass. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I think he didn't think I was going to be as aggressive yeah. okay. with it. He, he, there was some he uh, jumped. semblance of, of being surprised. Yeah. His, uh, I mean, he, sh he yanked me out of the... You yanked me out of the window. I didn't know you were going to take me out of the window. And then I was out. <laughs> the <cop car>. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was standing on the sidewalk. I was like, alrighty. <laughs> you got me. That was a lot of fun. Was that the boogie man? As a matter of fact, I do believe it. Yeah, but no, I, I, I got to surprise Malcolm a couple of times on there. The one, the, the one scene too, like at the, when it comes to the front door. Oh God. He was doing his speech and then he was adding lib. Mm -hmm. And we did that about four times. And Rob just goes, okay, this time, when he just starts to speak, just snatch his ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he started and I grabbed him and his voice went up about 20 <laughs> octaves. <laughs> and he was like, bloody hell, what the? <laughs> and I think that's the cut yeah, that made it, that's the, the cut that made it in the film. It was like, and Rob was just laughing. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Yes. What's it like to work with Rob? Rob is an amazing guy, you know? What I always say is like, he's a performer, so he lets you perform. He knows what it is like, you know? Um, he, it, the very first time I worked with him was on Devil's Rejects, and it was so surreal, because the sound guys were playing one of his videos where he's whipping his dreadlocks around, and I'm looking at that video, and then I look over and I see Rob sitting in the director's chair, chewing gum, he always chews gum, he goes, okay, well, I think we move this here. And then I look over at the video and I look back at Rob. <laughs> and I was just, it was surreal. I was like, this is not the same guy, you know? Yeah. It's two then, mints in one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? And, and uh, 
He, he's a great, great director to work with. I love working with him. He's really smart. Yeah. Really smart, really, really guy. kind, very kind human. Like he, and he definitely is very hands-on and knows exactly what he wants. He's very visual and he'll, he'll go up onto the set and do shit himself because he, know, he knows exactly how he wants it and how perfect. And he lets you play around and he, he trusts you, which is really good. I mean, he gets actors that he, he wants to work with and he trusts and that's why he continuously works with them all the time. And uh, I've, seen, I've seen him perform like eight times and he's still my, like the best show I've seen ever. He's great, inside yeah, and out. He puts on a fantastic show. Yeah, nothing but good things to say about him. So, um, in Halloween 2, your room, why was it so like uh, dark with Charles Manson and all the writing and that? I mean, did you not see me in the second one? <laughs> <laughs> it was really messed up, man. Um, that was actually she all She still of is. I mean, yeah, I'm a little dark. Um, that was all of Rob's stuff. Like, that was all him. He, he showed up really early to set one day, and he just started spray painting the rooms. He started just like, he wanted to see the difference of like, Laurie Strode from the first one and Laurie Strode from the second one. Like I said, imagine going through that sort of situation. Yeah. I mean, PTSD. you would lose your mind. And some people handle situations like that, and some people lose it. And he wanted to show that. And so that's why Danielle and me, there was the difference between how we both handled it. Danielle was kind of like on a structure path, which I was kind of just out of my mind. So they just kind of wanted to separate and show it both. But that, that was all of Rob's like drawings and stuff on the uh, bathroom and in the bedroom. It was all of his stuff. It was really cool. I wish I could have taken that home. Speaking of uh, William, I love your uh, Sheriff character. Yeah, yeah. Inspiration. <laughs> well, you know, w when I first had a conversation with Rob, you know, we were talking about how this this character had to be the type of man that was bigger than life. Uh, really, quite the classic guy. We talked about actors. We talked about people that had these huge personalities, the Lee Marvins, the Robert Shaws. You know that it, that he that his sense of what he was trying to do had to drive the movie. In a, in a positive and good way, but he still had to have these personalities. But then there was always the, the really bizarre change at the end, where suddenly he, he changes, the white hat comes off, and then all the bad things begin to happen. You know, um, what, one of the things that happened that I found was funny, I hadn't met Rob, we had spoken only on the telephone, and he, we'd, we'd spent about an hour and a half on the phone, he offered me the part. And when I went out to LA, I showed up to the building which was on Wilshire Boulevard in La Cienega. And this building at one point was a Great Western Bank. And the spokesman for Great Western Bank back in the day was John Wayne. And there was this huge statue of John Wayne in front of the building on a horse. I mean, it's huge. You stood under it, you look straight up. And I saw the statue and I was like, oh my God. So I called Rob and I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm here. He goes, well, come on up. I go, no, you come down. <laughs> so he's like, oh my God, he's weird. <laughs> so he came down and we met underneath John Wayne. And I, I just grabbed a hold of him and I said, look, I said, that's who the fuck he thinks he is. You know, and that's, that's where we, you know, where we began, so. That's crazy. John Quincy. Uh, yeah. I have to confess something. Um, <clears throat> I saw Devil Rejects and your character freaked me out so much that I was really nervous about meeting you. I was really, really freaked out about meeting you. I was like, oh my God, I really hope he's nice. Yeah, and our scene was just so charming yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I was like, Not oh my dumper God. on that it bitch. So yeah, funny. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's so funny. Well, all I got to say, William, is your character pissed me off in Devil's Rejects. Oh, wow. <laughs> Killed me before the credits even rolled. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I know that's the way I always that's the way I always go in. I always try to announce myself with a bullhorn before you know going in to attack serial killers. <laughs> That'd have been there like <laughs> you got me good though. Uh -huh. <laughs> questions. Any other questions? Somebody's huh? got to have a question. This is a question and answer. Well, maybe we could clear it up. I mean, for better or worse. Is it gonna be a Halloween three? I was going to actually touch on that. Oh, oh man, you should make a record of that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
you mm. know what, Rob Rob is definitely not doing another one, and it right. is going to depend on who the director is. Okay. And the thing is, what usually happens is if they're wanting to reinvent the franchise or whatever, or have a new director, they're going to want someone else usually. So it's completely their own vision. Well, that's what they're which doing is good. right now. Yeah, which is good. So. Which is such a bummer. Because I know I, I had been approached, um, I think, like three years ago. About we both were. We bo yeah, we both were. We both were. were. And we were both on board. I mean, it was really sad not having Rob do it. And I remember calling Rob, like, right after that and letting him know. Because I, I fell in love with the franchise and Lori. And I just, I mean, it was a bummer that he wasn't doing it. But as long as he was doing it, I was on board. But now I hear that Dimension's just, like, rebooting it and starting, like, over. But I heard that there's no Laurie Strode. It's just, like, a whole new reboot of Michael Myers, which yeah. is such a bummer. I have a good idea. Third yeah, third which, I mean, I would, <laughs> I would be <laughs> so on board to do a third one. But Tyler, yeah, in the first Halloween, um, Scout's walking, and how did Rob do that when she's walking and then you start walking between the trees? It was oh, intercut. How? It was intercut. Yeah, yeah, it was just intercut. Yeah, it was editing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we had to walk the same path. Yeah. I remember that. We did the dolly, the whole, yeah. That was done so long ago, man. I know. I can't even remember last week, let alone <laughs> what happened in 2007. <laughs> <laughs> so those kids, Skylar and... Uh, oh, my God, those so, little... Sh so, uh, <laughs> were, uh, were they usually scared or were they just really good actors? You know, I love kids. I like I'm I'm around kids like 24 seven when I'm at home. But those kids were a lot, man. They were a lot to handle. That's Skyler. He's doing a lot of shit. Now. Yeah, he's doing a lot. Her scream was intense, but they were really cute. They they were they were a handful. Like whenever we would do the babysitting stuff, it was just literally Rob going, "All right, guys, terrorize her," and they would terrorize me. That's what he told me, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Why do you keep avoiding the subject, Lori? Is, is she scared? Oh, Maybe she is. Are you scared? Okay, stop. Stop. Leave me alone for five seconds, please. Five. Four. Three. Okay, okay, two, please don't. One. No, no, no. Well, he'd send, he'd send them into the craft truck, and they'd oh, come out yeah, with a bunch a chocolate. of chocolate. Oh, my God. And, I mean, those kids were so jacked up for the whole time they were on set. <laughs> it was like, oh, my God. Their own parents were like, I don't know this child. You know, Rob would take him into the craft truck and go, here, it's more m and here, yeah. candy. Really crazy. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm snapping, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are being snapped. Yeah. <laughs> Do we get paid? Um, what was the favorite movie that you guys have all played in? Your favorite movie you've played in? Ooh, I Thank love you. your questions, kid. What are you going to be when you get older? You should really think about being a reporter. <laughs> yeah, the great questions. My, my favorite uh movie that I've ever done was Compound Fracture. I started my own production company and, and got to produce and, and I just and had it's amazing. the it's most so fun on the set with everybody. It was fantastic. But I've enjoyed all my films that I've done. Except there's one that really <laughs> pissed me off. Let's but, not talk about But I'm not talking about that one. <laughs> A recent one? But uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> mine would probably have to be um, a tie between Love Ranch with Helen Mirren and Joe Pesci, because I mean Helen Mirren and Joe Pesci working with them was brilliant. But The Runaways was probably my favorite movie that I've done, just because it was with like all young, incredible cast, and um, I mean I've been a fan of The Runaways for a really long time, and getting to play Lita Ford. And like we were in a band for the whole shoot, and when it ended, it was like we broke up. And um, those girls, I'm really, really close with, so it was like a life-changing experience for me. Um, but and and Joan Jett was on set every single day, um, helping us like learn our craft, and I got to learn lead guitar, and it was really cool. Did Lita? Did Lita teach you how to play? No, Lita did not. She wasn't a part of filming, but I actually ended up meeting Lita after. And she saw the movie, and I, she said I did great, and um, 
yeah, we're really close now, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's really cool. She's a rad chick. So just playing, like, an iconic character like that, and, you know, she's, I've always looked up to her, so it was really cool. Any other questions? The bar's open. Oh, oh, we got one. You're, Who you're said mini that? Me. Uh, okay. You're mini me. Yeah. What made Rob decide to keep Danielle's character alive in the first one? Rather than have somebody pull her off? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, it, but that's Rob. you got to ask that one. I, I was willing to kill her in the first one. I was ready. I thought the I thought second she was done second. That she's, that she's done at no, she does them all the time. She does a lot of them. She was Danielle. Yeah. yeah, she does a lot. I don't know. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> questions. Are we good? Any more questions? Who? One in the back there. Please do not tell me that the stabbing is the worst memory that you had <laughs> in that whole production. I mean, it have to be, right? Well, that was the, the first. <laughs> yeah. Worst <laughs> memory. Best, I mean, it was, the best was just being able to work with all those people. I mean, yeah. it, we had a great cast, great bunch of people. It, it, it great ended crew, up an amazing crew. a family, yeah. you know? It was it was like a family, very positive experience. So that would be a sick family. A yes, sick family. Is a twisted <laughs> but family. Yet a family. <laughs> <laughs> I'd agree with him. The same. I don't think I had a bad experience. Uh, yeah, I don't think there was anything bad that I could recall that happened. Um, I I turned eighteen on the first on the first one, and I had a cake fight with Rob, like, I mean, get out of here. Like, I was like, and I'm 26 now. I mean, I'll, I'll always remember those memories, you know? And like I said, yeah, they're my family now. I'm, they're stuck with me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yes, I think it was, yeah. It was, uh, I was really sick that day too. Um, but they surprised me with those freaking candles that just don't go out. And so that pissed me off. So then I just grabbed the cake and I just started throwing it. it was she, a lot of fun. she grabbed the, the one piece. She starts coming to me and I go, oh, hell no. <laughs> and she just, that stopped her in her track. Then she turned and went to Rob. And then I went to Rob. <laughs> I, have, I have a picture of me and Rob, which is like a bunch of cake all over our faces. It was great. It was a great experience. Yeah. All right, we're good. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun this weekend, guys. Woo! Thank you.